where I went out to investigate an insurance matter for a client. Their missing family was a crew member of a crashed derelict ship. Nothing prepared me for what I would encounter upon my arrival at the crash site. Hello ladies and gents, this is phase one. Today I'd like to discuss how the mechanics of the investigation missions and how they deliver an unpredictable player experience in which results in fun. This is an attempt to spark a discussion on how this gameplay loop is now and how it can improve in the future. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing for future Star Citizen content. And without any further ado, let's get started. For those that are new to Star Citizen, there are several types of investigation missions. Most are at sites of a crashed derelict ship, while others are in a cave. Currently, the objective of an investigation mission is to find a missing person, or to find a list of missing crew members, or even source out and retrieve the flight recorder of that crashed ship. In the persistent universe, when these investigation missions are spawned in, they're offered to all players in a given jurisdiction. This means that one player can accept one, two, or all three missions. These three missions are linked to the one derelict site. With this gameplay design, players may show up to complete one mission while others come to complete the other. These players do not know each other. What happens when they run into each other at the crash site? This is what makes things fun. The unpredictability of running into another player who may be hostile or friendly is what makes things interesting. To make things even more interesting is the survival elements of the game. Whether you're going into space or planet side, you need to account for oxygen, medical supplies, food, and water. You need to also account for the environmental challenges such as weather. Due to the unpredictability of these missions, you need to also account for weapons and equipment just to protect yourself. In the future, I like to see predator and non-predator creatures added to the mix. I like CIG to add the effects of the environment to encourage the use of equipment and vehicles such as land rovers instead of ships to get into certain places. We recently heard from CIG that they're planning to implement a full personal inventory system into the game. This means that players whom are motivated by loot would likely be more aggressive when they encounter other players, simply due to the fact that they may notice that they have nice guns, equipment, gear, etc or even a valuable item that they may have found during their journey. You may even run into other players that are just interested in PvP altogether. These are something that we can look forward to when it comes to investigation missions. So what would you like to see in the future in regards to investigation missions in Star Citizen? Let me know in the comments below. If you like anything in this video, leave me a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more sources and content such as this. I will see you on the next one.